We're going to use this Akuma Genos 560 Vertical Machining Center to actually show the demonstration. This system has a T-Mac with adaptive control integrated into the machine and we're going to use this aluminum part to actually show how we're going to cut and use adaptive control technology. We've created a program that has some minor anomalies in the cut that would show a typical adaptive cut where material conditions or thicknesses are changing. So we're going to run the demo and show you how it works. So first what we're going to do is learn a cut on this machine. Here's a part program that's set up. You can see that on the Akuma control, the uh, software runs right on the control. The system's actually in a learn mode right now. Now TMAC can work on any CNC control, but the Akuma Windows-based interface makes it really nice and simple to turn back and forth between the CNC side and the TMAC screen. So let's learn a part and we'll take a look at what's going to happen. So now we're looking at live cutting data. This is the actual power of the spindle that's cutting. You can see the green line is automatically scaling and changing on the fly as it learns different cutting parameters that are happening with this tool. We're going to actually learn two sections of this tool cut so we can show some different reactions to the cutting. Here's the second section. It's relearning the cut. And again, you can see that the green line is showing how it automatically learns the sensitivity required for this type of cutting. We're also getting a basic time base of when a tool is cutting at exactly 100%, how long did this cut take? Now that we've learned the cut, we're going to show how adaptive control works in real time. So we're going to cut again with the monitoring capability turned on. This allows our system to adaptively control the feed rate of the machine. So you're going to see now as the cut starts, the, the horsepower is in white and the feed rate is in purple, the percentage being shown on the screen. So there's a target horsepower, which is a green line. When the horsepower is below that line, it's going to maximize the feed rate. When the horsepower tries to get above that line, the system is automatically going to control the feed rate to maintain a power cut no higher than that optimizing the cut in the best way it can. It's doing this every 10 milliseconds. It's constantly adapting to all the changing conditions. So now we're going to look at the historical data. This is the recorded data. We can go back to any cuts that have happened. So first of all, you'll notice that we're looking at the learn cut right now, but indicated by the green background. We can also switch over to the monitored cut or the adaptively controlled cut. And you can see that the other one is grayed out in the background. So you can easily switch back and forth to see one cut versus the other and see exactly what the changes were. Here, by using the cursor in the screen and the details on the left, we can see a lot of different things about the cut. The actual current power, but also the axis position. Where exactly was the machine at any point in time during the cut? This can be invaluable to determine when anomalies have happened and where they occurred in the cutting process. We can also look at the overall time of the cut. Here you can easily see the adaptive cut and the current, the learned cut, which was at 100% feed rate, the time difference, considerable. Now we can go to the learned cut and we can see exactly the feed rate that was controlled, which is the purple line, and we can see the power that was cut, which is the white or the area under this curve. We can also zoom in on any section of the cut to see in more detail exactly what might have happened at that point. So we've seen the advanced analytics and the tools that TMAC provides you to look at the cutting data. It's not just local at the machine. TMAC has a web server that any device in the world that can connect to this machine via network connection can look at the same data, live or historical data. Including your iPhone. We're actually looking at the live cutting data of this machine right now as it cuts. This is a really advanced capability of TMAC that gives you complete control and flexibility from anywhere. Manufacturing offers a lot of challenges. Material is constantly changing. Different thickness, different hardness. Tooling changes. Some tools are dull, some are sharp. Even the manufacturers of tools have differences in them. Then there's the work holding, the clamping, and even machine differences can cause all types of cutting problems. 
And then the lack of a skilled workforce to adapt to these changes really makes it challenging. Well, adaptive control is a technology that can compensate for a lot of this. By using real-time monitoring and automatic feed rate adjustment, we're making these changes all the time, predictably and reliably, for any conditions that are changing. So adaptive control is a technology that's underutilized, but can really help you advance in the manufacturing world.